Welcome to GCK King Circle with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. In God's garden of grace, even a broken tree can be effort. Welcome to today's episode of the GCK King Circle. We are kings, queens, princes, and princesses are nested, knitted, and nurtured for royalty. I am Daniela Olutayo, your host for today, and with me on the studio is... Omana Inebasi, your co-host on the show. To lead us in today's voyage is a man whose love and desire to see young people succeed inspired him to host youth in Nigeria to a six-day event some years ago at the National Stadium in Lagos, Nigeria, packed Success Academy for Youth. Reputed to be one of the largest gathering of youth in Africa. I'm talking of none other but Dr. W.F. Kumi. But before he comes to take us on today's voyage, let's listen to this powerful musical interlude. We'll be right back. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. Oh, I worship you. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you, Lord, I worship you. Let's sing Waymaker. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Welcome back. Do you know that many young people today make reference to the word grace, but do not understand what it means? Some feminine fellows even bear the name grace, but lack understanding of the place of grace in the Christian life. Stay tuned as Dr. W.F. Kumi expounds this concept to us. There's something we call grace. And that grace, you know, there are even some, you know, some of our young sisters, their name is Grace, and if I ask them, your name is Grace, what does that mean? I say, it's Grace. I said, well, what, tell me what it means. I said, I said sir, that is Grace. Okay, I'm going to tell you now. Do you want to know what Grace is? You know, this G-R-A-C-E is God's riches at Christ's expense. God's riches at Christ's expense. That means how rich is Christ? Oh, he's so rich, I cannot mention how rich he is. He's rich in mercy, he's rich in salvation, he's rich in power, he's rich in healing, he's rich in deliverance, he's rich in provision, he's rich in everything, and that is grace. God's riches. The riches of God at Christ's expense is paid for it. All he wants me to do is just, just line up and he says, what do you want? I want grace. What do you mean by grace? I want God's riches because Christ has paid for it at Christ's expense. It is God's righteousness at Christ's expense. I want righteousness. How do you get that? Christ paid for it and because he paid, he paid for it I stretch out my hand of faith and I'm going to have that grace and I say grace is God's redemption at Christ's expense you see redemption is when somebody has been a slave in the slave market and then somebody very rich said I don't want that boy to be a slave to be I don't want that girl to be a slave and then he pays for that child and then gets him out and there's no oppression there's no torment in your life anymore that is God's redemption at Christ's expense what's grace is God's revelation at Christ's expense, there are some things you'll never know until grace comes to your life. You may study all the English, all the literature, all the mathematics, all the chemistry. There are some things you can study chemistry from here till the top of the tree without knowing anything about heaven, without knowing anything about righteousness, about the joy of the Lord, which is your strength. But it is when this grace comes into your life, thank God for God's grace. I said, thank God for God's grace. And that grace is overflowing. It's going to flow into your life today in Jesus' name. God's revelation at Christ's expense. Remember that. And now, now, when we pray, 
God answers by grace. You know, some people, when they pray, they say, I'm trying to feel good so that God will answer my prayer. You know what grace means? God, uh, this, this means uh, God responds abundantly, completely, exceedingly. When we pray, grace means that God responds abundantly, completely, and exceedingly. I can tell you, it's going to answer your prayer tonight. And it is all by, tell me, all by, tell me again, all by grace. We're looking at uh, the word of God. We're looking at Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2. And I'm reading from verse, reading from verse 11. It says, um, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared unto, tell me, tell me out loud. Tell me as if you were really sure. It's appeared to all men. You see, there are some people they say, I don't know whether grace is available for me. I don't know whether the righteousness of Christ is available for me. I don't know whether the riches of Christ is available for me. It has appeared unto all men. It is just today. I said it is just today. And then it says, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly laws, we should live soberly. Is that grace of God that helps us to live soberly and to live righteously? And then it says, and godly, when, when we get to heaven, where? Tell me if you are sure. Read it out loud if you are very sure. In this present world, you know, sometimes you meet uh, some, uh, some of these young people in your school and uh, you want to witness to them. You want to tell about Jesus, your Savior, about Jesus, the Lord. Who do you say? I'm, I'm also born again. Ah, you born again. I didn't mean, you know that. Because uh, how about, you know, you live like ordinary people. You live like you did. I didn't even know you were going to any church at all. I didn't know you ever read the Bible in your life. Oh, he says, yes, uh, you know, but you know, we're still in the world and nobody can live godly and righteously and soberly in this world. Yeah, that person has never read this verse. It thinks that it's when they get to heaven, then they will not steal anymore. When they get to heaven, then they will not commit fornication anymore. But look at this, it says, the grace of God that brings salvation. When that grace comes, it's bring, he says, who wants salvation? Who wants salvation? Then you say, I'm here, I'm here. And that grace comes to you and it brings salvation to you. And it's teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lost, that we should live soberly and righteously and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us. Wonderful. He gave himself for you. As you repent and turn away from your sin and just turn your back on all your evils, say, Lord, I believe that Jesus died for me. I believe that Jesus paid the whole price for me to be saved. That salvation is right there now. I'm sure you got value from that short section. We are saved by His grace and God's grace is available to save you today. Let's now join Dr. W.F. Kumi as he connects us to grace. You'll never reject anyone, boy, girl, or even adult that comes to you. And I pray that those who have prayed that prayer sincerely, forgive them in Jesus' name. Let your salvation come into them and the joy of salvation and the victory of salvation and the grace that comes with salvation let it come to everyone in jesus name sustain them keep them make them to walk in righteousness by your support and sustaining power we thank you because we know you have answered in jesus name we pray congratulations you are now part of the family of god Thank you for staying tuned on today's episode. We will come your way again. Be watching okay. just for Christ. We believe that you've been impacted. Pastor Dr. Dobby F. Kumui will love to hear from you. Please visit our social media platforms and don't forget to join us on the next episode of GCK King Circle.